All Saints Sunday, Year C. From the 149th Psalm, let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand. In the name of that same God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The value of a two-edged sword is in its most obvious feature. A two-edged sword cuts both ways. We recognize this in everyday speech when we call someone's strongest asset a two-edged sword, meaning something that both helps and harms them. Usually, the helping part comes first and then the harm, but the psalmist reverses that, speaking to those who have already suffered harm. Now, November is Remembrance Tide, that period between all saints and Christ the King when we remember all that we've lost. We do so not in the dark of despair, but in the light of the coming of the kingdom. On all saints and all souls, we remember both the faithful and the not quite so faithful departed. Those memories can be painful, involving not only loss, but sometimes also injustice or other forms of trauma. Remembering the dead can involve remembering our complicated histories with the dead. And sorting through those histories can cut deeply into the flesh of our composure. Our readings tell us that our painful memories are a two-edged sword. We have already felt the sting of the first edge, but there remains an edge on the other side that the God of redemption will put to our use. The sword of memory cuts both ways. Jesus instructs us to love our enemies, to do good to those who hate us, to bless those who curse us, and to pray for those who abuse us. Redeemed memory helps us to do this, to recall our pain, not only to suffer, but to acknowledge how we survived our suffering, and to use that knowledge for others. But Jesus doesn't stop there. Jesus calls us to practice striking back with the opposite edge of our sword, to recognize the various blessings that are the opposite side of our suffering to offer the other cheek to the one who strikes us and our shirt to the one who takes away our coat, to switch over from the muscles of self-protection to the muscles of positive action. As we remember the dead, let us remember all who have gone before us, those who have shown us the way to practice using the opposite edge of memory's sword and those who have given us something to practice upon. For our God has given them both as a pledge of our inheritance among the saints. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.